Welcome to the final test, Command R. This third and final test scenario involves a Startopia base orbiting the planet Parturius 22. The Galactic Database has the following information about the planet. The residents of Parturius 22 are a decadent party people who use dance steps as currency. For example, a bottle of wine there costs a three-minute waltz. I admit I can't make sense of the irrationality of carbon-based life forms, Commander, but I'm sure it will one day be one of the reasons for your total annihilation. But enough of that, let's turn to the scenario. Commander, in accordance with the needs of the residents of Parturius 22, this Startopia base has a fun deck. There you can accommodate the visitors' various inclinations. Attain the scenario specified energy parameters to successfully complete the test. Welcome to the simulated orbit of Parturius 22, Commander. I by no means wish to increase your stress level, but of course much depends on this final test scenario. Failure to complete it would result in a drastic shortening of your career. To exactly one millisecond after your failure, to be precise. But I am. Well, frankly I'm not very confident, as my evaluation algorithm gives you about a 40% chance of not failing in the first five minutes. I don't think I need to remind you of the importance of this scenario. Commander, your goal is to get the fun deck on board this Startopia base up to speed, please the visitors and earn a reasonable amount of energy on the side. Command R, commence operations. Commander, I discovered a note in my files scheduled for deletion that you fulfilled an optional triviality in the previous test scenario. According to the RFS, such trivialities should also be rewarded, so I'm increasing your ration of nutrient slime and will provide you with a crate. Commander, by now even you should have understood the basics of running a Startopia base. Nevertheless, out of sheer good will I would like to point out the effectiveness of highly experimental devices, HEDs, which offer you the easiest way to influence visitors and tackle problems. Commander, you've set up a berth. A good idea, considering it's the cornerstone of a sound base of operations. Commander, good to see you've built a recycler. If you fail this test scenario, you could find yourself in there very soon. Very good, Commander, you have hired a Celebramer to work in the disco. This fond-loving species will now ensure that the other more introverted aliens get their money's worth.
Commander, you have established a medical station. An excellent idea, because according to my research, dense clusters of carbon-based life forms such as those found in a disco are a veritable hotbed of disease. My sensors detect that the Starcats Cafe has been completed? Very good. I would quickly like to point out the increased concentration of pathogens in this environment, Commander. Not that it- Congratulations, Commander. You have managed to build the Disco, which is an essential part of the scenario, in just overflow time units. Whoops, my output module didn't expect a number that high. Commander, you have managed to build an arcade station where simulated aliens now play simulated simulations. Rather amusing when you stop to think about it, isn't it? You should know that there are anti-fun demonstrators in this galaxy who try to sabotage our work. It appears explosives have been placed on the fun deck. You might want to look into that. Commander, I hope you continue to keep a close eye on things. If even one of those cat creatures somehow gets into my mainframe, it will be fried. Commander, the loot box lottery will now begin to generate revenue on Startopia. I'm still fascinated by the fact that you can extract energy from the aliens' pockets with hats. Commander, the black hole drop has completed construction. From now on your visitors can scream their souls out there. Have fun!
Very well, Commander. I'll make sure that opportunities to visit the disco are optimized. Commander, it would appear that something has lured energy thieves aboard. These perfidious individuals set up illegal energy absorbers which then siphon off some of the energy earned in the surrounding area. Logically, this makes it more difficult for you to fulfill the mission objective, Commander. Of course this is perfectly obvious, but I thought that in your case I should emphasize it once again, explicitly. Supply the arcade with even more energy? A bold move, Commander. Commander, bombs have been transported onto Startopia. Check quickly to see if one landed on the fun deck.
I'm amazed, Commander. You have generated as much energy with the arcade as this simple test scenario requires. Congratulations. Commander, you finally managed to reach half of the disco visitors designated for this scenario. Fortunately for you, the time limit I suggested was not applied to the scenario. Excellent, Commander. Your fuzzies will immediately begin the transformation. Commander, you've managed to generate the required amount of energy through the Starcats Cafe. A minor achievement, but nonetheless an achievement for a carbon-based creature. My circuit boards are overheating just thinking about it, Commander. But what you do with these carbon-based life forms is up to you.
Commander, your black hole drop has earned the required amount of energy stipulated in this very simple test scenario. I think you should be congratulated on your trivial success. Commander, bombs have been transported onto Startopia. Check quickly to see if one landed on the fun deck. Commander, you have reached the number of disco visitors designated for the test scenario. A first step, and I am now only moderately pessimistic about your future career.
Commander, a group of radical party poopers from Partirius 22 has come aboard and planted bombs on your fun deck. Rest assured, I am in no danger. Congratulations, Command R. You actually survived the test scenario. Please forgive my negative interjections during the interim. That was only to determine how you would react in stressful situations. Oh, and there's one more point I need to address. In fact, Commander, that was not the last test scenario. This misinformation was also used to create a stress situation. From now on I will of course not give you any more incorrect information. So, once again, congratulations. If you are ready, we can move on to the next test scenario.